so you want to make something like this well you've come to the right show welcome to okay tutorials the series where i teach you with an okay level how to make stuff the way i make stuff idea that's the first thing you need pretty self-explanatory something simple but also catchy make sure you have multiple ideas step number two shoot it preferably not during rush hour like we did we were gonna go all zach king on it thanks to keys for the assist but the takes never lined up right okay so now that you've got your shot now it's time for the fun part let's edit the first thing i did was chuck it into after effects and let it do its magic with the camera track it might help out to mask out the errors which might mess with the track such as moving objects then we use a nice little script to export the tracking data so we can use it in blender meanwhile sean is designing the all in steam cup sweet so now what you want to do is import the tracking data into blender tick background image in the camera settings and import your video slam the model into the scene and line it up you can also rebuild some of the geometry in the scene so you can use it as shadow catches and better line up the object if you did everything right congrats now the model should be tracked onto the scene if something doesn't look right good luck figuring out the issue that's part of the fun and learning now a good idea would be to throw in a HDRI that you've made earlier of the scene or use a HDRI that is similar to your scene that you can find on Polyhaven. Once that is done, you can play around with the render settings and make sure that you use the least amount of samples while still keeping the image quality great so that the render time isn't too long. Try rendering out a couple images and tweaking the settings from there. Once rendered, input it back into After Effects and now, in my case, the hardest part, rotoscoping. I fucking hate rotoscoping. The rotor brush in After Effects always seems to give me a chatter Roto. So I spent a good day on Mocha masking out every single person and object in the scene. Was it worth it? No. Does it look good? Eh, it will have to do. Now you want to take the model render and sandwich it between your Roto and your original footage. And there you have it, a really basic VFX workflow. Now you can tweak the colors a bit, make sure they're matching. I'll leave a link to the original project files that you can buy for one pound or however much you think it's worth. Thank you for tuning in to OK Tutorials. Uh, let me know what else you want me to cover and I'll see you in the next one.